All right, welcome back to Asia Tech Week on Daily Planet. I'm Dan Riskin. And I'm Zai Tong. We are here in Tokyo, and right behind us is the Rainbow Bridge, and it's so named because of the beautiful, colorful solar charge lights that come on at night. We're going to check it out later on this week. Yeah, now somewhere over the Rainbow Bridge, the hustle and bustle of Tokyo continues, but right now we're going to Korea. They're no strangers to high-tech bridges. In fact, the Banpo Bridge Fountain is an audio, visual, and technological marvel. The Han River a defining 500-kilometer gateway that flows from Seoul to the Yellow Sea. It's a kilometer wide in spots. 27 bridges cross it. They all look mostly the same, except this one, the Banpo, connecting Seoul's sprawling districts. It is indeed a significant place because uh, I was here a few years ago, you know, walking down the bridge, looking at the bridge, looking at how to design a fountain. This double-deck artery has been around since 1982. At times of heavy rain, the lower level can submerge as the river rises. But that's not all that makes this bridge special. We really wanted to create something very iconic, very unique, and also create an experience, a very unique experience for the visitors here in uh, Bampo. Peter Koch has a pretty unique job. It just means getting wet a lot. We are specialists in water, so we, we play with water. We try to defy, you know, gravity. I started uh, in the fountain industry about 30 years ago. I'm an engineer and uh, I design and build fountains. Like this one in Singapore, it's given Peter and his company Oasa a lot of attention. One of the very unique uh, projects, other than this Bumpo Bridge, is the Crane Dance in Singapore. This is a seawater fountain. It is the world largest animatronic uh, fountain. It is a pair of crane standing at 20 meters tall. It has a pair of wings that, uh, that flips water. Peter knew he'd need that same artistic vision to turn these concrete arches into something magical. So uh, we came up with this concept of a caterpillar transforming to a butterfly. So this magical transformation, this uh, double deck uh, bridge, it's the body of this caterpillar. And then when it comes to nighttime, the color resembles the uh, butterfly flipping wings. This is a 1.2 kilometer bridge. Uh, we wanted the fountain to span across the bridge. So we actually put 380 nozzles along this bridge you know, on both sides. So we have created a uh, special uh, nozzles, very lightweight. They tested each nozzle to pivot 45 degrees. They also pumped through liters of water looking at pressure, knowing these nozzles would be pushing 190 tons every minute. We actually did a lot of uh, mock-ups and tests, you know, at our factory. So we set up the nozzles, test it, run it uh, continuously for days. Our design is actually uh, to pump the water from the Hans River, bring it up about 20 meters high, you know, uh, and then throw it back into the water. And of course, each nozzle, we want it to be individually controlled. The lights, of course, get all the glory. 10,000 programmable LEDs. So the lighting adds vitality. We actually put every single uh, nozzle uh, LED light on top of it. So what the light will do will follow to light up the stream of water. The result is as mystifying now as it was the very first night. It was a big show, you know. Uh, I was here at the uh, grand opening with the mayor giving the speech, and I'm sitting there, you know, and I'm really worried, you know, <laughs> yeah, to see. But also, I'm very excited, you know, to see it working, you know. It's still working perfectly years later, but has become so popular that programming the show is a full time job. We have to create cues, and from cues, we create, put them into a show synchronized with music. Soon Ho Lee is the dream maker here. He gets requests all the time. Behind the control room, a huge bank storing 3.5 megawatts of power, enabling Soon Ho to line up over 4,000 channels of music, light, and water every night. Tonight, it's windy, so only one side gets the show. Wind is one of the biggest consideration. So when we are designing, we kind of split the control into two half. Even at half tilt, the show here grabs lots of oohs and ahs. 
Oh, it's really nice, you know. I mean, it's always good to see something that, you know, we have created. <laughs> I'm so happy. I, it's so cold, but I, I feel so warm right now. <laughs> now that is an incredible feat of engineering. But what happens when the old architecture has to make way for the new? Well, we've got some quietly crushing details to show you. That's coming up right after the break.